In this video, we're going to install Complete 11 Ultimate. Now this installation will be pretty much the same for normal Complete 11 as well. So we already have our Complete 11 Ultimate USB 3 hard drive connected to our computer. I would definitely suggest that you come to this page and take a look through the installation process, just so you're familiar with it. Do this before you actually start installing. So as mentioned, we already have our hard drive connected. I have my Complete 11 Ultimate serial number handy. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, whenever you plug in your hard drive, you may get an auto run. It may auto pop up for you. It really depends on your settings. If it doesn't auto pop up, uh, again, I'm on Windows, so I'll just go to this PC, and here you can see that hard drive. So we'll just go ahead and pop into it here. And again, don't be thrown off. You may only see the installer for native access, which you will need native access to install this. Now, I already have native access installed, so I'm not going to run this, okay? But if you don't have native access installed, you can run it right from here. You can also, we can also take a look at this readme. There you go. You can see that you will need to be connected to the internet because we also have to authorize this, of course. Okay, so read through that if you want. All right, now again, like I said, don't be thrown off by not seeing any content in here. It's just hidden content, which I can show you. We can come over here to view and hidden items. And there we go. Now we can see what is actually on this hard drive. In fact, in the data folder, you can see, let me actually change the view here. You can see that these are actually disk images, just like if we, if we got DVDs. Now there is a lot of content in complete 11 ultimate and complete the normal version. So I would definitely suggest don't buy a download version. Okay. You definitely want to buy a box version with the hard drive. But anyway, we could actually right click and we could actually mount these images and install them that way. But there's no reason to do that. I just wanted to point out, you know, don't be freaked out if you come to your hard drive and you don't see anything but native access. Okay. All that stuff is hidden. Okay. So just a real quick little tip there. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is run native access, install it. We already have it installed. Okay. So let's go ahead and open it up. If you don't have it, go ahead and install it and you can uh, run it from there. So we'll go over here to native instruments and I already have the latest version down here. So native access, we'll go ahead and open this up. And you can see it's scanning there. It usually doesn't take this long to start up. So my guess is it's actually checking my, uh, my hard drive. So you can see everything I have here. Okay, there we go. You can see it automatically detected that I had my hard drive connected. That's really cool. This is a really cool installation process, much easier than whenever we installed previous versions with DVD. So I have my Complete 11 Ultimate software serial handy here on that little card that I showed in the unboxing video. So I'll go ahead and enter it here now. All right, so we'll go ahead and click add serial there. Now, by the way, I'm logged in. If you're not logged in, you'll need to come up here and log in first. There we go. So thank you for registering Complete 11 Ultimate. Awesome. Now we can install new products. We can see not installed up here, got added. So we can go ahead and click this here. And it's going to show me everything that I can install. But before I do this, okay, it's very important. Again, if you're disinstalling native access for the first time, you should be asked for this the first time you open it. However, since I've had native access installed, I've already set this up. So I'll come up here to this little person icon, okay? Just click that and come to preferences. This is something you will need to set up. So download location, if you're downloading stuff, where do you want it downloaded to? Now those files can be deleted after they're downloaded. Okay, but where do you want it downloaded? You can see the application location. This, you'll want to leave this on your C drive. Now in the previous video, we talked about having an external drive or having a dedicated hard drive, whether it's internal or external, for our content. But we want our applications installed to our OS drive. All right. Now content location, this is the sample libraries. Where do we want the sample libraries installed? And again, we already saw in the previous video, we set up this hard drive right here to install some libraries too. And we also have this hard drive, which currently has my native instrument stuff on it. So this is the hard drive I'm going to choose to install to. So we make sure we want to change this here to whatever our dedicated hard drive is, unless you're installing to your OS hard drive, which I would not recommend because we're talking like 363 gigs. And the other thing you want to change perhaps is the VST locations. Now, as you know, some DAWs, Bitwig, FL Studio, Cubase, you know, you can set up different VST install locations and you may have several different uh, VST plugin folders that you're having to reference. If you want to install everything to say the Steinberg folder or the VST folder, that's fine. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this just as it is and have the VST versions installed to this path right here, which of course would be C program files and then come down here to native instruments and then the VST plugins. Okay, that, that's fine for me. I, I'll just add that reference in whatever DAW I need. 
Now for Pro Tools, it's going to install automatically to the AAX uh, location. All right, but the content is what I want to change. Again, you can change these if you want. You can change all of these if you want, but what I want to do is change the content. So I'll go to Browse, and again, the content is the sample libraries. The, the biggest part of the install is the sample libraries. We'll go to E and Native Instruments. Select that folder. There we go. That's all we have to do. It's going to install now to E Native Instruments, and it will handle the rest of putting them in the uh, correct folders for contact and so on and so forth. Okay? So now, again, you can change your VST locations. I would leave your application location the same. Again, the application is the things like contact, uh, guitar rig, things like that. The content location would be the content for, say, action strikes or uh, your, your Abbey Road drummer. So now we're pretty much good to go. So we'll go ahead and save here. All right. And now all we have to do is click install all. Now you don't have to install everything at once. You can install just what you want to install. And you can see how large these libraries are, how large the applications are. If you just want to install one or two things, you can do that. Absolutely fine to do that. But I want, of course, to install everything. I mean, we didn't pay the premium price for buying Ultimate just so we can install a couple of things. So we're going to install absolutely everything. We'll go ahead and click Install All. And as you can see, now it's what it's doing here is it's mounting that uh, those image files, those sort of DVD image files, those uh, disk ISO files, it's mounting those and installing from those. Like I said, we could actually mount those ourselves and install from those, you know, mounting images. It's, it, this is actually a really cool way to install things. It's big, uh, big props to native, uh, native instruments for uh, delivering their content this way. It's a really cool installation and authorization system that they uh, have set up here. All right, so I've done pretty much all I can do right now, guys. This is going to probably take several hours, even though we have content on the hard drive, you know, it's installing from the hard drive or not downloading. Um, it's still going to take several hours because it's a lot of content. So as you can see, all of these are now marked with installing, installing, installing. Okay, all of this stuff, something like 87 different uh, programs and, and sample libraries. So right now I am going to just uh, head off and take care of some other things and we'll come back when this is done and we'll make sure everything is installed. All right, so I'm actually about three to four hours into this, actually a little more than that. Unfortunately, this install process is not as seamless as I had hoped, as it actually should be. For some reason, Native Access is having trouble mounting those ISOs, releasing those ISOs, and then mounting a new ISO. You see it succeeded, this is actually the third time I've done this, by the way. Uh, it succeeded in installing Action Strikes. It successfully unmounted that ISO, that disk image that we showed earlier in that hidden section, and then it, it mounted Action Strings. As you can see right here, installing is 100%. Now we can check here. We can see it has indeed unmounted that ISO, but for some reason is having trouble going past this part and going ahead and mounting the Alicia Keys uh, ISO DVD, or should I more correctly say disk image. Okay, now like I said, this is the third time I've had to do this. Uh, we'll get to the fix, or at least what I do, to get around in a minute, but uh, I just wanted to look a little bit at Native Access. I mean, even with these problems, it's actually a pretty cool uh, program. I, did, I didn't show this before, so I just want to show it real quick here. You can click on any of these things, so click on it, and a little pop-out will come out, and you can read about it, the size, the partner, uh, the vendor, and exactly what it is. And you can, like I mentioned at, up top, you can choose to install one thing at a time, two things at a time, so on and so forth. So I actually like this application. It's just too bad it doesn't work. Uh, at, at this point, I'm sure it will in the future. It, just, it doesn't seem to work uh, consistently uh, to install things as it should. You can see, right, something like this, installing 75%. And then you can see this little icon with the hard drive and a down arrow. You can see that this version of Reactor Blocks that is on your Complete 11 Ultimate hard drive is not the latest. So a 55 megabyte update will be downloaded. So I just wanted to point out this little icon right here. You can see if it has a down arrow, that means it's going to download an update as well. If you come up to something like, um, let's just come up here. You can see right here that it is on our Complete Ultimate hard drive. Okay, so overall a pretty good program implemented very well it just it, they just need to figure out some bugs again you know this is being recorded right at the beginning of 2017 right at the end of 2016 I'm, I'm sure these bugs will be ironed out so let's go ahead and get to what i've had to do three times now is as you can see it's trying to install here but it is you know it's completely hung up it's not doing anything and it's been like this for about an hour 
So what you do is, well, this is what I've been doing, is just hit close. Now that's not really going to do anything because the application has hung. So again, hit close. You can see up here, not responding. So just keep hitting it until you get the not responding. Then hit close the program. Now you can go ahead and reopen it. Although what I would do, we can see we have our hard drive is showing up. What I do is I unplug that hard drive from our computer. And then plug it back in. And there it is. Okay, now another thing you could try uh, that you should probably do, which I'm actually going to do, but I can't show it right now, obviously, is restart your computer and try again. Another thing is, if you have a USB 3 port, try a USB 3 port. I'm not saying that's going to necessarily help, but the installation will, at, at a very minimum, be a lot faster than plugging into a USB 2.0 port. Okay, so after we've done that, we will go ahead and restart Native Access again, which I, I just want to show something in here real quick. Come here to Hidden Items, and this is what it does. All, all it's doing is coming through all of these uh, image files and it's mounting them. See, we can mount this ourselves. For example, I can mount this image. And you can see right there, it's mounted. We can see exactly what it is. It's mounted right here. That, so that's all the program does. So you can actually install these yourself just by mounting the image and running it from here. You don't have to use native access. It's easier, obviously, but you can do that. Anyway, let me go back here and let's unmount this because we want native access to do this for us. Uh, so we'll go ahead and eject it. So we've closed down native access because it hung on us. Let's go ahead and open it up again. We'll go to the in native instruments and native access. Open it up again. It's unfortunate that we have to do this because the this installation and this program, this application native access is actually pretty elegant in the way they've designed it. And the way they set this up and in the way they've actually structured everything on the hard drive it's a, actually a really elegant solution all right guys so right here complete ultimate hard drive detected again so now not installed 51 items so we, we have quite a ways to go it seems to me that it, it's been able to do about two in a row or maybe three in a row before it, it seems to fail so what you might want to do instead of clicking install all again if you've done this two or three times uh, you may want to just try to install these one by one uh, which you can do so I can just click install here and you can see that it mounts that image for us and it starts installing it so then I'll just have to come back and manually click install for some reason install all it doesn't seem to be working here um that's just a uh, you know way you can uh, get around it so hopefully the next time I'm uh, I'm back here everything is installed all right so we're not quite completely done yet I just wanted to share what I found actually worked to make this process pretty seamless almost as seamless as clicking the install all button instead of clicking the install all button i simply clicked install next to all of these different items that were on the hard drive only by the way just click install and i don't mean to click install on one and then wait 30 minutes or however long it took to install and then come back and click install again what i mean is all at the same time just click install here click install here click install here so on and so forth through all of these you can see how much we got installed and that actually it, it worked it took about three four five hours or so so what you can do and what i would suggest is i clicked install on everything that was installed directly from the hard drive you see this icon right here that we mentioned okay as long as it has the icon of the hard drive and not for example an i well let's go to this one here because i did install that one and not an, an icon with the hard drive with the down arrow meaning that it's going to download Okay, don't click those in my opinion. I mean, you can try it manually, but what I would do, because this is what worked for me, everything that has just the icon for the hard drive, click install, click install, click install, click install, click install. It's going to take you 45 seconds to go through all of these. Okay, again, just the things with just the hard drive with no updates, no internet. Uh, it won't be having to go out to the internet to download updates because it, it seemed like that was really causing the problem that's what it seemed like at least on my end so just go through and click on install on all of these then you can walk away for three four five hours whatever it takes whenever you come back all of those things should be installed and that's pretty seamless and it worked fine it was able to mount the discs the the iso images and unmount them and mount the next image that way whereas as we, as we saw before if i clicked install all for some reason it wasn't able to continually mount and unmount those images so Again, just click the things install, click them manually, 
that have just the hard drive icon. If it has a download icon next to it, or if it's like form here, which is going to be completely installed from the internet, or if it's something like the contact factory selection, which is not part of complete 11 at all. This is just something that I have available for buying a, a different, uh, I believe it was the complete audio six that came with this factory selection, which I don't need because we have the full library. All right, don't click install on anything that's going to be downloaded. Just the things that are installed directly from the hard drive. Like I said, walk away, come back, three, four, five hours, everything should be good. So now I'm gonna go through, and let's go ahead and click install here. Now you could, here we go, you see it mounted that image just fine. You could try going ahead and clicking install manually on all these things at the same time. What I'm gonna do being that most of these things are uh, pretty small, you see 133 megabytes, this is 268 megabytes. I'm just gonna install these one by one, go through them one by one, just so we don't have any problems, but you could try after you get all the libraries installed, which by the way, it's the libraries that are going to take uh, the longest to install because as you can see how large they are, 15 gigs, almost 20 gigs here, here's almost, uh, here's two gigs, about two gigs, three gigs, so on, you know, so on and so forth. That's what really takes the uh, largest amount of time. So just go through, click install on everything that just has the hard drive icon. After that's done, come back, and again, manually install just by clicking install on everything else that you want to install that has to be downloaded. As you can see right there, install was successful. Cool. So now let's go ahead and move on. Let's go ahead and install form. We'll go and click that. Of course, I'm not going to show all this because it's going to take probably another 20 minutes or so. There you go. Had no problem mounting that ISO. All right. And you see it's actually installing pretty, pretty quickly here. Much better than just clicking install all. I don't know why the install all button doesn't seem to be working and it's hanging. And there we go, form was installed successfully. So that would be my suggestion to you is just go through and manually click install on all of the items that are just being installed from just a hard drive, no downloads needed. After that's done, come back in later and go ahead and, and install manually everything else. So we're going to do this. Even with the few problems, hopefully this will be ironed out in the next two to three to four or five weeks and they'll have this all under control so you don't have to do this and you can just use install all. But if you happen to be having the problem I had, that is how I got around it. All right, just installing the things all at the same time that were just on the hard drive, okay? Now let me go ahead and finish up installing everything else here that I need to install and then we'll make sure everything was installed successfully. Okay, we are back and we have successfully installed all of complete 11 as you can see here we can go to installed products and there is everything not too bad of an install process uh, just by going through and uh, doing that little workaround that i told you about after we had those few freezes just going through and manually clicking install on everything that installed just from the hard drive and then going back and installing everything that would have to also download updates so everything is now completely installed from complete 11 Pretty cool, great. And now we can check our hard drive that we installed everything to. You can see it indeed installed to the correct hard drive and into the location that we designated. And you can see it put everything in the correct folders. It created the folders themselves. We didn't have to you know, put in the names, like the Cuba, the damage. It created those folders itself, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up this video of the installation process of complete 11 ultimate in our case ultimate but that will be pretty much the same for just you know complete 11 as well i'll pop up contact here you can see all of our libraries that are included with complete 11 ultimate a whole lot of sound content and we can open this up here go to native instruments and here's all of the plugins the separate plugins of course we have other things within, uh, you know, Guitar Rig 5 and say Reactor uh, as well. All right, so that is pretty much all for this video. Overall, a pretty easy install process using native access. In the next video, we'll go through each and every plugin that was installed. Just, just a quick mention of the name and we'll show the interface. That's it, just to go through everything that is included in Complete Ultimate 11.